Now when you come down to the blues, now you just sit here and watch me. Hey VC, hello good people. It's Chris, your blues guy. Welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. Cheers. So thank you very much for tuning in and joining me here once again today. How's it going, eh? Uh, today's video is going to be a response to a video that I saw Richard McCook do. And that was, um, he's got this scenario where he's stranded on a desert island. And um, he's he can only take 20 greatest hits or best of albums with him. And I thought this was pretty interesting, and it got me sort of the mental juices flowing, and I, I quickly, when I was finished watching the video, commented on it, and then started looking through my collection. And I, I pulled out basically what I had for Greatest Hits albums. And I, I love Greatest Hits, hits albums. Uh, I had commented on that, and I saw Steve Carlson had commented on that as well. Uh, a lot of Greatest Hits albums, to me, are sort of essential listening anyway. Uh, but the other thing that I love about them is often you get bonus tracks if they reissue a Greatest Hits or something like that that you, you won't get elsewhere. Um, or um, the other reason really is that it's just a, you know, if it's a newer band, a band that you're not that familiar with, but you're hearing a lot of good things about that band, uh, you can pick up a Greatest Hits album and sort of experience it firsthand for yourself and then decide if you want to go forward digging into their discography and picking up more more studio albums from that band so i mean you know greatest hits are just and plus that's what they are they're greatest hits you're not going to get a lot of filler and crap in there you're going to get good stuff so uh what i've done is i've i, I went through and i i pulled out 20 of the greatest hits that i have and much like richard i wanted to try to sort of cover the entire spectrum or as much as i could of as many musical genres as I could. I wanted to get some rock and roll in there. I wanted to get, of course, some blues, some jazz, soul, R&B, country, as much as I could. If you're gonna be stranded on a desert island and you can only bring 20 greatest hits albums, you wanna to try to cover all the bases. So, without further ado, let's get into this thing here, shall we? Uh, the first one I'm going to show is Hank Ballard and the Midnighters, 20 Hits. This is on King and Federal, much like that Clyde McFadder that I showed not too long ago in, in uh, Rachel's contest uh, video entry that I submitted. Um, Clyde McFadder was a genius. Uh, he was sort of the, the front man or the, the leader of the Drifters, and um, you know he had a great solo career. Kind of the same thing with Hank Ballard. He's a great vocalist, kind of in the vein of Jackie Wilson. If you think of Jackie Wilson's sort of vocal style, um, Hank Ballard sounds a lot like Jackie Wilson, or I should say Jackie Wilson sounds a lot like Hank Ballard. Uh, these recordings, most of them from about 53 to about 60, 62. And they basically are one of the founding fathers of the what became known as sort of the doo-wop sort of a sound. Uh, Hank Ballard originally wrote and recorded The Twist, later done by Chubby Checker. But uh, some fantastic hits that he had on here, songs like Work With Me Annie, uh, Annie Had a Baby, uh, Finger Poppin' Time, of course The Twist is on here, The Hoochie Coochie Coo, Let's Go, Let's Go, terrific album. So sort of essential early R&B stuff. So I would definitely bring this one along. These are in really no particular order anyway, so not really, not until we get toward the end. Uh, the next one, you know, I gotta, I gotta bring some Everly Brothers. Love the harmonies of the Everly Brothers. Love their sound, love all their songs. Um, Bird Dog is on here, that's my favorite Everly Brothers song. So yeah, uh, you know, this is a, a double album. So uh, yeah, absolutely outstanding. Can't, can't. Find yourself stranded on a, on a desert island without some Everly's, absolutely. Uh, some sort of founding father of the rock and roll sound, Little Richard. This is Little Richard, his greatest hits. Of course, as one would imagine, everything that you're going to want from the late, great Little Richard, Richard Pennyman on here, Tutti Frutti, 
Babyface, Long Tall and Sally, uh, Keep a Knocking, Good Golly Miss Molly, on and on. Definitely, definitely would have to have some Little Richard on that desert island. Uh, some kind of cool rock and roll slanted to the blues, but not sort of full on blues rock per se, uh, but just a very talented band, the Jay Giles Band. And this is uh, Best of the Jay Giles Band. Um, you know, so you've got on here songs like uh, Southside Shuffle, um, uh, Must Have Got Lost, just a great album. So, of course, you know, you've got uh, Peter Wolf, Jay Giles, so on and so forth. I really dig the Jay Giles Band, and uh, this is definitely one that would find its way onto that desert island. Along with this one, the Doobie Brothers. Love the Doobie Brothers. I love any incarnation, or whatever whatever that word is, of the Doobies. Uh, slightly partial to their earlier stuff, as opposed to the Michael McDonald uh, vocals, but not taking away anything from Michael McDonald. Very great, blue-eyed, soul, soulful voice. But yeah, best of Doobies, for sure. That's That's got to come with me. The only thing I'm concerned about with vinyl on the desert island the sand gets in the grooves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, next up some Canadiana I've got to bring some Canadiana with me so I've got a couple here first one is Street Heart uh, this is the best of Street Heart Street Heart action one of the greatest front men ever Kenny Shields great voice uh, just an outstanding band Street Heart another great Canadian band Steppenwolf this is Steppenwolf Gold, their greatest hits. Um, you know, so in here, of course, you've got Born to Be Wild, uh, Magic Carpet Ride, uh, but you've also got Hey Lodi Mama, uh, It's Never Too Late, The Pusher, uh, Screaming Night Dog, Jupiter's Child, Move Over, Rock Me. Just a great album, Steppenwolf. Gonna have some sort of hard, hard rock. Not metal, but hard rock. Nazareth. Nazareth Greatest Hits. This I found in a dollar bin. Uh, I think it was last summer, and I couldn't believe my eyes, man. Razmanaz, uh, Holy Roller, Shanghai in Shanghai, Love Hurts. You know, on and off. Fantastic. This flight tonight, of course. Gotta bring some Nazareth. Uh, one of the criteria was only one greatest hits or best of album per group or per artist. So I've got a couple of from the Spencer Davis group here. I've got the best of, or sorry, Spencer Davis greatest hits and then the best of Spencer Davis. So if I had to pick one, you know, they, they dupl duplicate a lot of the tracks on here. But if I had to pick one, I would say probably the best of the Spencer Davis group featuring Steve Winwood, because there are a couple of tracks on here that are not on on this one. But you still have I'm a Man and Give Me Some Lovin', uh, but a few extras on this one. So this is the one that would be coming with me. How about some sort of soft, not soft rock, but sort of light light rock, country influenced rock, that uh, California country sound, the Eagles. And you know, this is uh, their greatest hits, the Eagles, uh, Take It Easy, Witchy Woman, Already Gone. Gotta have some Eagles with you. I like the Eagles. Despite what the Big Lebowski says, uh, some jazz. Gotta bring some Dave Brubeck. Dave Brubeck's greatest hits. This is outstanding, actually. I mean, he's got the Duke and Take 5 on it. It's pretty much all you have to tell me. Dave Brubeck, greatest hits. Um, this one here, another sort of a double from the same artist. Uh, Bob Dylan's uh, greatest hits, volume 1. And volume two, volume one, volume two. Uh, th this is, I mean, this would be really, really tough to decide between the two, but I think, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with Greatest Hits volume one, if I had to choose between the two of them. 
mostly because of blown in the wind and the times they are changing and like a rolling stone. But of course, rainy day woman, uh, number 12 and number 35, uh, subterranean homesick blues, and just like a woman. So yeah, I would, uh, if forced at gunpoint, volume one over volume two. Oh, not in, taking anything away from volume two. Volume two is no slouch. Uh, you know, Lay Lady Lay and Memphis Blues again. But, uh, and of course, Maggie's Farm. That, that was tough. Maggie's Farm almost tilted it in, in the volume two's favor. And of course, I got to uh, bring some blues with me. Uh, little Milton's greatest hits. Love Little Milton. Uh, he kind of toured around a little bit with B.B. King, Little Junior Parker, uh, who else? Bobby Rush, in and around sort of Memphis, Mississippi, Arkansas in the late 40s, early 50s. And this is outstanding. If these walls could talk, uh, Blind Man is on here, um, uh, Sweet 16, Grits and Groceries, outstanding track. So yeah, I gotta, I've got to bring some Little Milton. Very good voice, outstanding guitar player, sort of in the vein of B.B. King, uh, but definitely his own distinct style. Little Milton. Uh, some more jazz. This one I picked up just recently at, uh, at a secondhand store or a thrift shop. Monk's Greatest Hits. And, uh, I mean, you know, Ruby My Dear, uh, Around Midnight, Blue Monk, Need I Say Any More, Thelonious Monk, The Monk. The best who ever did it, Aretha. This is Aretha's Gold. Fantastic. This is one of my, actually one of my favorite greatest hits or best of albums ever, actually. I love Aretha. Um, to me, like I said, she's just the best that ever did it in terms of female soul singers. Uh, you try to come at me with anybody other than Aretha, and I'll fight you. I'll fight you. Um, never loved a man the way I love you. Do right woman, do right man. Respect. Uh, chain of fools. Think. Uh, say a little prayer. Just essential stuff, and definitely gold. Uh, this one, I love showing this album. I, I don't see it shown much in the BC, but I have seen it a couple of times. This is the hits of the Yardbirds. And um, this is just a very, very good greatest hits comp. Um, you know, Still I'm Sad, My Girl Sloopy, Evil Hearted You. A uh, heart full of soul. I'm a man. A uh, smokestack lightning. Shape of things. It's the hits. The hits of the Arbors. That's coming with me. Uh, same as this. The best of the animals. Great album. Great. Uh, sort of our greatest hits. Uh, House of the Rising Sun. Baby, let me take you home. Talking about you. Uh, you know, the story of Bo Diddley. Just picked this up recently as well. Uh, I think, I want to say Amazon. It's an anniversary reissue of clear vinyl. Very cool. Sounds very good, actually. Wow, speaking of the best that ever did it, for me, number two behind Aretha, and many may argue this, but go ahead and argue. That's you're not swaying my opinion. But she's definitely right up there. I would say number two behind Aretha, Janis Joplin. You gotta, you gotta tuck this under your arm when that ship is sinking and swim like hell to the shores of that desert island for sure. Come on, you know, I mean, it's Janis Joplin. You know, just, uh, I, I do, you know what, I don't even have to say anything else. There's the track listing, Janis Joplin, enough said right there. The innovator of soul, the inventor of soul, the genius. Brother Ray, Ray Charles' greatest hits. Um, this I picked up last summer at Recordland, and uh, they have a, I think it's only once, maybe twice a year, they have a dollar record sale. They have a room in the back that's all 
dollar records and once or twice a year they open it up just for the day and as much as you can carry or back a pickup truck to and, and buy and haul out of there a dollar a piece and I mean this I would I'd pay 20 bucks for this if, you know if that was the asking price it's just outstanding Georgia on my mind unchained my heart uh, hit the road jack one mint julep uh, I'm going to move to the outskirts of town I mean does it really get much better than Ray Charles. Uh, again, this one here was was a tough one for me to decide. Uh, another band that I have sort of a two greatest hits or best ofs, uh, Deep Purple. So 24 Karat Purple and then uh, the very best of Deep Purple. Again, very, very tough to choose, but a lot of the tracks are duplicated. Uh, so again, if faced with the decision you can only take one, I would choose the very best of Deep Purple. Why? Because it says so right on the cover. It's the very best of Deep Purple. Uh, the greatest rock and roll band of all time, the Rolling Stones. I don't have a lot of, I don't really have a lot of best of or greatest hits of Rolling Stones. Uh, in fact, this is pretty much all I've got. And it's, of course, uh, the Rolling Stones Hot Rock 64 to 71. It's that early period Stones, which I tend to favor anyways. So, you know, for me, I really didn't need to look much further than this Rolling Stones. Hot Rocks, Brown Sugar, probably my favorite Stones song. Uh, but I mean, everything on here is great. Give me Shelter, Honky Tonk Woman. Uh, get off my cloud. So yeah, stones are coming with me for sure. A shout. And last but not least, uh, this would be the first one that I would grab. And um, you know what? If somebody said to me, "Hey, hey, hey, blues guy, you've got twenty albums there of greatest hits, best dubs, but you can only bring one," this would be the one. This is Howlin' Wolf, his greatest sides. Uh, the Howlin' Wolf, my favorite all-around bluesman. And on here, it's just classic after classic, hit after hit. Down in the bottom, no place to go. Sitting on top of the world, which is an old Mich Mississippi Sheik's tune from the 30s that he covers. Of course, Smokestack Lightning, the original uh, single version of Little Red Rooster. Uh, Spoonful, Evil, Killing Floor, Ain't Superstitious, Backdoor Man, Wang Dang Doodle. I mean, it's it's the wolf, man. It's the wolf. Howlin' Wolf, his greatest sides. And uh, there's a, a cool sort of a intro or blurb here by Peter Grolnick, who's a, a musicologist, a, a blues collector, an, an author. And uh, yeah, just a very, very good album. This is on that Chess. Uh, this is a promo white label Chess in that cool checkerboard label. But you don't see that often. Um, but yeah, it's just a sort of a nice rare treat that I found this. It's great sides. I don't know where or even when. I think I bought this at Recordland maybe about 10 or 15 years ago. Something like that. I'm not, I'm not even really sure. Can't even re really remember. But uh, I know it was released in 83 on uh, Sugar Hill. So yeah. So there you go. That is going to do it here today for my my 20 greatest hits or best of albums that I would take with me if blub, 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 the ship was sinking and I had to put these on my belly and do the backstroke to some desert island. So I want to thank Richard McCook for this sort of thread, this, uh, this inspirational sort of idea. I thought it was really cool. So I'd be interested to see if what you've got in your collection in terms of 20 greatest hits or, or best of uh, albums and compilations from your favorite artists. And, you know, if you found yourself on a desert island and you could only bring 20, what would they be? So there you go. That's going to do it today for your blues guy. Uh, once again, thank you very much for coming by and tuning in and visiting. Of course, as always, do all the things, keep digging, keep spinning, and we'll talk to all of you again real soon. All right. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.